So it's so crazy. Some of the bluest water I've ever seen in Florida is here at the Wikiwachi Preserve. Now, I believe that these used to be phosphate pits um, that just now have filled in and it's become a preserve area. Um, but it is a really interesting place to fly because there's a lot of these lakes that sit here and just on the other side is the Gulf of Mexico. But we're not here to talk about the preserves. We're actually gonna go ahead and give this the iFly Camara 7 Pro another try, another flight. I haven't flown it since I've done that video. So I don't know. I went ahead and configured the GPS rescue. I'm using Crossfire this time, so I figure we'll give it a try in this video. And if you can't tell, I am sick or I'm losing my voice, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but with that being said, let's get started. I had another video planned for you guys today, but unfortunately, I can't really articulate words for a long period of time, so I'm scrapping that video for another day, and it's probably best because I want to do a little bit more research before I release it, and I think I'm standing in ants. I think I'm getting bit up by ants. Am I getting bit by ants? I may be getting bit by ants. Fuck me. All right, so like I said, today's video, we're gonna be testing out the Camaro 7 Pro with the new True RC patch antennas. This is the first time I'm really trying out these patch antennas with a long range quad. Unfortunately, this is really the only long range drone I have, so I have no other choice than to trust it. Couple of things, I did go ahead and update the air unit, and I did go ahead and update Betaflight to the latest firmware. And yes, because I know people ask, we're going to wait until we have full satellites before we take off and I have test it returned to home to make sure it is properly configured and it is working so we shouldn't have any mishaps and in in the rare event something does happen uh, maybe we will be able to recover it but no risk it no biscuit wait did I say that right no risk it no 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 risk no biscuit anyways fuck it we're gonna fly
absolutely love this RC. God, this thing is amazing. Feels just like my Mambo, which is a really good thing, but it feels like it has a better build quality. And I love the AGO gimbals. If you haven't added AGO gimbals to your uh, boxer, you definitely need to do so. Alrighty, so I gotta say, um, I'm really loving these patch antennas and I love them more so because I can't find my freaking stock antennas. After doing that review a couple of days ago talking about penetration, I think I left them on the tailgate of the truck and I drove off and now I'm basically stuck with these. So I have to make them work because I've got nothing else. Um, yeah, so Camaro 7, it did good. It didn't let me down this time, but obviously taking proper procedures um, definitely helps in making sure that everything comes back to you correctly. Um, but you know, sometimes shit happens and it, it is what it is. I still would never buy an iFly quad ever, but I'm just using it because this is all I have, but it did do the trick for today's video. So, all right. Well, uh, I guess it's back to uh, back to the studio. Me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie. Ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me. My success has only made them envious. They got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you on so and so. You're not a threat. Cause I really know